hello my dear students welcome to this channel patel science academy and in this lecture i am going to teach you about the plant water relation this topic so as you know dear students this is shaza sir and this is my channel patel science academy so dear students before before we go in the depth of this topic i would like to explain about uh, some properties of water but uh, before we go ahead here i want to ask you a few question what are the various parts of the plant body dear students you should know about the various parts of the plant body because the relation of the water is the plant with the plant is uh, always uh, related with the all parts of the body because you have to be familiar with all that parts so dear students these different parts of the body like the root stem leaves flowers twigs branches all these are the different parts of the plant and these plants parts play very important role they do different function for the uh, water absorption and actually do you know that we need a water pump to lift the water at the top of the building why do we need a water pump because it has to pump from the lower side to the upper side in the building but have you think ever how does the plant lift the water from soil up to the all parts of the body without any pump so dear student this is very interesting thing and in this lecture i'll explain you about that process of water absorption and the relation of the water with the different parts of the plant body so dear students before we go in the depth of this chapter i would like to explain you the different sources of the water for the plants in this world the different sources are soil the main source of the water can be considered as a soil all water is not available under the soil surface for the plant body but maximum water is available for the water for the plant body for its use then the unavailable water it is called hygroscopic water and it involves combined water gravitational water then the available water for the plant it includes the capillary water hygroscopic water actually it helps a very tightly around the soil particles by the adhesive force dear students this is the definition of the hygroscopic water if you are having confusion what is hygroscopic water so it is always held very tightly by the uh, soil particles by the adhesive force so this is called hygroscopic water and this hygroscopic water is not available for the plant body for its use then the combined water combined water means the bound water and combined water means the bound water and it is present in the form of the hydrated silicon and the aluminium because silicon and aluminium is there in the hydrated condition that's why this is called combined water and it is again unavailable water for the plant body then the next part next part includes again the one of the uh, unavailable water that is called gravitational water and this gravitational water it is the it is due to the gravitational force water goes down and through the soil particle and it reaches the water table so again this gravitational water is not available for the plant body then the capillary water capillary water actually this capillary water is always available for the plant body and it this water is held in the capillaries inside uh, the soil particle below the soil level so dear students this capillary water is available for the plant body for its use this is about the different sources of the water as Uh, it is a soil water it is unavailable hygroscopic combine and the gravitational water and the capillary water as a available water but out of this this is available for the plant for its 
use so this is about this different sources of the water now we'll go ahead and now we'll see the process of absorption of the water actually there are some definitions include that can be learned that should be learned by you the process of absorption of the water it includes the imbibition it includes the diff diffusion it includes the process of the osmosis so we'll see one by one here dear students the absorption of the water as a imbibition means the absorption of the water by the hydrophilic compound water molecules get tightly absorbed on the surface of the water this is imbibition process imbibition means nothing but the absorb adsorption of the water by the hydrophilic compound cell hydrophilic compound hydrophilic compounds the water loving compound hydro means water and philic means loving or accepting so by the hydrophilic compound water is absorbed by uh, by the plant and this process is called imbibition water molecules get tightly adsorbed on the surface due to the imbibition compound shows uh, swelling and this swelling you can see the different in the different parts of the wooden parts i'll show you due to the imbibition uh, they show swelling example the swollen wooden doors and the wooden windows can be consider can be used to understand this imbibition because in that cell the compound is hydrophilic and they absorb the water molecules and they get swell so this process is called imbibition now the second process uh, in the slide it includes the rainy uh, the diffusion process and what is this diffusion process now we'll see this diffusion process it includes the movement of the ions atoms or the molecules of the solute liquid or gas from the region of the higher concentration to the region of lower concentration till the equilibrium is maintained so this is called diffusion process let's see it one more time diffusion means the movement of the ions liquid uh, uh, atoms molecules of solute liquid and gas from the region of its higher concentration to the region of its lower lower concentration till it is maintained as a equal equal level or as a equilibrium level so this process is called diffusion and it is again useful process for the uh, plant life uh, along with the process of the imbibition so diffusion it includes the dp means the diffusion process and it is the cause of the diffusion and does not develop as a result of the diffusion it involves uh, no expenditure of energy and symport and any port these are the two uh, uh, part in the diffusion symport means the transport of the two types of the molecules in the same direction i'll show you later symport means the movement of the two types of the molecules in the same direction while the antiport means the diffusion in the opposite direction so symport and antiport these are the two types of movement of the diffusion uh, in the different direction while the unipore as you are getting it a uh, uh, molecules move in independent of others uh, there is no dependency Uh, in the for the direction so that's why it is called unipore direction so this is about the diffusion the movement of the ion atoms molecules of the solid liquid or gas from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration now we'll see about uh, now we'll see about the uh, osmosis process one of the process can be considered as a absorption process for the plant body for getting the water water and the minerals so diffusion of the water it includes the definition diffusion of the water or the solvent from a solution of the lower concentration to the solution of the higher concentration from the solvent to the solution through the semi permeable membrane 
there is one membrane which allows the half portion half material to pass through it and that is called semi permeable membrane and during the process of the osmosis the diffusion of the water and the solvent takes place from the uh, lower concentration region to the higher concentration region uh, through the semi permeable membrane and this process is called osmosis and this is one of the process can be considered to observe the different types of the water level to uh, absorb from the uh, uh, to absorb the water from the region of the lower uh, a concentration to the region of the higher concentration so this is about this uh, osmosis and different parts now we'll see it diagrammatically so you can see here the uh, the example of the imbibition here yeah, students they are, this is the imbibition example and in this example you can see this swollen region of the wooden part and it is only because of the imbibition because the water hydrophilic compounds are there and they uh, absorb the water because the nature of the compound is hydrophilic water loving and that's why they have absorbed the water and they get swollen due to the absorption of the water so this is the example of the this is the example of the uh, imbibition next example you can see here this is the next example and it is the diffusion part diffusion part it includes the particles uh, uh, likewise uh, have from the high concentration to the lower concentration the movement of the water molecule this is the process of the diffusion so here you can see from the higher concentration here the number of the particles are more or numerous in number here it get diffused from this higher concentration region to the lower concentration region so dear students these are the different parts of the uh, these are the different types of the process of absorption in the uh, plant body to absorb the water molecules from the region of the higher concentration to the region of the lower concentration by the process now process of the uh, types of the endo uh, osmosis it includes the osmosis process and osmosis are divided into these three types endo osmosis exosmosis and plasmolysis so Osmosis, as you know, it is the process by which the water enters into the cytoplasm of the root hair cells and it is divided into two types, endosmosis and exosmosis, including the another part, plasmolysis. So what is this endosmosis? Endosmosis, the entry of the molecules into the plant cell. Entry of the molecules into the plant cells, as a result, it becomes tur turgid or swollen and hy hypotonic solution is the example of this endosmosis the second one is exosmosis exosmosis it includes the loss of the water from the plant cell as a result cell become flaccid or shrinkage so if cell is shrunken it is because of the exosmosis because the water is lost from that plant cells and if cell is become a cell has become swollen or turgid so it is because of the process of the endosmosis because the because of the entry of the water molecule into it so this is exo and endosmosis now we'll see the process of the plasmolysis and the deplasmolysis so uh, we can consider the here the different process one by one so let's see the process of the plasmolysis plasmolysis what is plasmolysis due to the exosmosis protoplasm shrinks and this process is called plasmolysis and cell called plasmolyzed cells as you know dear students the process of the exosmosis it is the loss of the water from the plant cells and as a result cell become shrink or it 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 uh, become shortened and it, it diameter is uh, shortened so because of the process of the exosmosis what happens the protoplasm in the cell it get shrink and because of that that cell is shrunk uh, shrunken so that's why that process is called plasmolysis the exosmosis of the protoplasm 
then the second another part it it includes the deplasmolysis process and it is due to the endosmosis protoplasm resumes its original shape and this process is called deplasmolysis and that cell is called deplasmolysis cell this is about all the steps involved in the process of the osmosis so till now we have seen about the endosmosis the entry of the water molecules as a result cell get swollen exosmosis the loss of the water molecules as a result cell cell get shrinkage plasmolysis the shrinkage uh, uh, exosmosis of the protoplasm as a result plant cell get shrinkage and deplasmolysis the endosmosis protoplasm endosmosis of the protoplasm as a result cell get its original shape or cell gets swollen this is about the basic part of the uh, water absorption process as a endosmosis exosmosis plasmolysis and deplasmolysis so there are different solution you can see here in this figure there are different solution and in this different solution you can see the movement of the water molecule from the different regions so it is a hypertonic solution isotonic solution and hypotonic solution hyper means more and hypo means same yeah, hypo means low so hypertonic solution in the hypertonic solution the movement of the water molecule takes place is from inside to outside means the exosmosis takes place while in the isotonic solution the movement of the water molecule from the outside and inside in the same direction takes place as a result it become uh, it has its original position while in the hypotonic solution the water molecule movement from the outside to inside takes place that's why the cell gets swollen so in the hypotonic solution cell become shrinken in the isotonic solution it resumes it it it, it doesn't change its shape and in the hypotonic solution the cell gets swollen so these are the different uh, solution in which the process of exo and endosmosis takes place this is about this exo and endosmosis now we'll see the definition of the hypo iso and hypotonic solution hypotonic solution means the lower concentration of the solute outside the cells than inside the cells what happen in this hypotonic solution the uh, concentration of the solute remember this word solute in the solution there is always two part solvent and solute solvent is always present in the higher concentration and solute is always present in the lower concentration so hypotonic solution means the lower concentration of the solute outside the cell then inside the cell while the isotonic solution means the same concentration of the solute outside the cell and inside the cell while in the hypertonic solution the solute concentration is always higher outside the cell and then the in, inside the cell so these are the meanings of the hyper and hypotonic solution hypo means low or less hyper means high and iso means equal or same so hypotonic solution it includes the low concentration of the solute outside the cell then inside the cell Hi isotonic solution has the same concentration of the uh, solute out and inside while the hypotonic solution it has the higher concentration of the solute outside the cell and then the inside the cell inside the cell there is a low concentration of the solution so because of all that solution nature it takes place and it has the different uh, nature of the solution so you can see here as i have explained uh, due to the hypo hyper and isotonic solution due to the hypotonic solution cell is getting uh, swelling and due to the isotonic solution there is no change in the shape and due to the hypertonic solution because the water molecule is uh, moving from inside to outside so it is getting 
shrinkage, shrinkage and that's why the shape of the sail changes this is about this three types of nature now we'll see the process of the plasmolysis now we'll see the process of the plasmolysis what is plasmolysis in the plant in the plants hypertonic surroundings causes the plasmolysis and what is this plasmolysis as i have explained you in my previous slides so you can see here in this cell the cell this is the cell wall you can see this is nucleus present in this cell this is a vacuoles and this is plasma membrane and this is the cytoplasm present inside the cell what is happening here in the process and why the uh, how this plasmolysis process is happening this plant cell placed in the distilled water so what will happen if it is placed in the distilled water cell stiffens but generally retains its shape while if you place if you place this plant cell in the concentrated salt solution what will happen the cell body shrinks and pulls away from the cell wall you can see the change in the shape it is not changing its shape and here in this structure in this salt concentrated salt solution the what uh, cell has shrunken because of the process of this plasmolysis so this is about this pl plasmolysis process diagrammatic explanation now we'll see the process of the absorption and the movement of the water in the next lecture in detail so thank you very much please subscribe my channel patel science academy like share and comments for your queries and press the bell icon so that you can get the instant video this is shahasa saying you thank you very much thanks a lot